this is not what we thought would happen on our DIY project. <laughs> Hey, good morning guys. So me and Brittany uh, are going to Home Depot right now to go pick up some wood because, you know, ever since we moved into our house, we've been wanting a, a nice coffee table, but we just haven't really liked the ones that we've seen. They haven't really matched our living room or they've just been too pricey. So uh, we decided that we're going to build our own and we think that one, we can make it look how we want and for the right price. So that's what we're doing now. And uh, I think it's gonna be fun. What do you think, Brittany? Yeah, so I hope you guys get inspired by this because we don't make a lot of DIY projects, but when we do, we like to go all out. So we found this one on Pinterest that we really, really like. We have all the um, wood sizing and everything. So we're going to go to Home Depot right now. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are inspired by our DIY project and hopefully it turns out well. There's a fire drill happening at Home Depot right now. <laughs> This is not what we thought would happen on our DIY project. <laughs> I will do basic firefighting training. Then get in there, baby. I'll get in there with my gun and I'll shoot the fire out. <laughs> you hear this guy? He said he's gonna shoot the fire out. Oh geez, I'm like zooming in hardcore on you right now. Two hours later. Okay, so we are back home and it has been quite the crazy day. We went to Home Depot, as you guys saw, and there was a fire drill. And so we had to get outside of the building and we stayed at the building for like maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then we just decided like, okay, let's just go to Lowe's. So we ended up going to Lowe's, which was like, 15 minutes away went to Lowe's they didn't have the lumber that we needed and so we were like so we went back to Home Depot a lot of people were still outside and they said it was gonna take 10 to 15 minutes and so finally we got back into Home Depot and we got the wood that we needed um, so I'll put more clear instructions if you want to do this but it is two eight foot two by twos and two eight foot two by sixes and again I'll put like more clear instructions but we have basically everything we need we have our saw that we just bought because you're gonna need a saw we do a lot of diy projects and so we're like we might as well just buy a saw um and then we also have like our can of like wood stains and stuff and everything that we need so yeah Okay, update for you guys. We just finished, well, Connor's like just finishing the base of the coffee table. So, there it is. And I'm currently staining all the pieces. I just did all the tops. So it's pretty exciting that we're done with the base and we're already starting on the top part of it. So it feels like this is almost gonna be a day project, which is amazing, because um, we kind of wasted most of our day trying to get into Home Depot. So we started really at like one o'clock, two o'clock, maybe. Yeah. 
two yeah so we're already like this much done so it seems like it's a really quick project um, which is super encouraging so just wanted to update you guys that we um, have the base done and we're starting on the top part okay another update I have stained fingers <laughs> um, but Connor is staining the bottom part with a um, what is it Let's ebony see. ebony color I think let's see it's ebony Oh, it's called ebony? Okay, so the color that he's painting is ebony. Make it look metalish. Yeah, because it gives it a little metalish look, if you guys heard Connor. Um, and then I'm painting these a dark walnut color. So as you can see, <laughs> you will get really messy, but it does come off. So all I need to do are the back of these, because none of them are done. And then I have one right here. And then after that, we will all put them on top and bzz, screw them in and we'll be done. Oh, also forgot to mention, after we stain them, we have to seal them with a like poly the polyethylene, polyethylene. <laughs> and then we will screw them in and then we will be done. If our project couldn't get any more interrupted, it's currently hailing and we are under our little canopy, canopy thingy. Look. Look at that. At least our stuff's not getting wet. Yeah, our stuff's not getting wet. We're not getting wet or like hailed on or anything. But we're like on our last step. We're sealing it right now. So I feel like we just should truck through. Yeah. We're just going to do it yeah. in the hail. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? YOLO. <laughs> Samuel's like, I'm gonna stay inside. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next morning and we are finished with our table. Connor couldn't be here because he has his duty day today, so virtual high five to him. But we did finish it last night and now it's basically just drying. Basically all dry now, but I'll show you some like shots of it. Here it is. I put our cute little plant on there so it wouldn't be naked. But here it is. The only thing that we did mess up on is when we got our wood, um, you're supposed to get eight foot and actually one of our wood pieces was seven and a half feet so definitely make sure you uh, measure it we did have a measuring tape when we went to home depot but we just didn't measure it because all the hectiveness hectiv hectiveness <laughs> whatever <laughs> happened when we were at home depot and the fire alarm and all that stuff so we forgot to measure but it was shorter and so we had to shorten a couple other things but i think we forgot to shorten something because each side of the table has this little gap so right there and right here right there so um it doesn't look bad it looks like we intentionally did it like that um because it's equal on both sides but yeah this is what it looks like and it's so cute i'm so happy with how it turned out and again i just wanted to let you guys know that it was a super easy project if you guys want to try out the coffee table it took us like it took us less than a day because we started at like two o'clock and ended at like seven o'clock really with like putting it all together and then letting it dry it didn't really fully dry until really this morning and it probably would have dried quicker if we left it outside but i think it was raining last night so we just didn't want to do that but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this diy project um most of my diy projects something always goes wrong so if you do diy projects where stuff doesn't go wrong like blessings to you because something always happens to me um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye